Hello and welcome to another GCSE economics video with me, Mr. Goff, for MrGoff.com. This video will focus on an introduction to exchange rates. A currency is the system of money used in a country or countries. Many different countries use different currencies. An exchange rate is the value of one currency expressed in terms of another. In this example, you can see the value of one British pound expressed in a variety of other currencies. You can also see the 52 week high and the 52 week low, giving you an idea of how much currencies vary over the course of a year. Exchange rates are determined by the interaction of supply and demand. If we consider the pound to US dollar exchange rate, pounds will be supplied by people who want to sell pounds in order to purchase US dollars so they can buy goods and services from the US or invest in businesses in the US or put money into banks in the US. Pounds, on the other hand, will be demanded by people who are in the US who want to buy goods and services from the UK or invest here. A rise in the exchange rate means that the value of the currency expressed in terms of another is now higher. In other words, one British pound now buys more US dollars. This is sometimes referred to as the currency appreciating or strengthening. There are two key ways this might happen. A right shift of demand is likely to lead to both an increase in the price of the pound and an increase in the quantity of pounds traded. A decrease in the supply of the pound would lead to less pounds being traded, but would also have the effect of increasing the value of the pound. On the other hand, a fall in the exchange rate means the value of the currency expressed in terms of another is now lower. That is, one British pound will buy less US dollars. This is sometimes referred to as the currency depreciating or weakening. There are two key ways this might happen. The first is a right shift of supply. This will lead to an increase in the number of pounds traded, but a decrease in the value of the pound. The other is a left shift in demand for the pound. This will lead to less pounds being traded and a lower price for the pound. That brings us to the end of this introduction to exchange rates. Join me in the next video when I'll be analysing the factors that affect exchange rates. Use the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise economics. And until next time, it's bye for now.